Welcome to my million dollar studio. Some weeks ago I made a video about Anthony Beer and his claims that he could prove a flat earth using seasons. Now it's on it again. In the latest video about this, he made some claims using a globe, a wooden stick and a heat lamp that he thought prove the flat earth using seasons. I believe he had watched some debunks, perhaps mine, so he made a new video with some slight changes. Let's look at this dumpster fire. Okay, let's talk about seasons on a globe. Now, we were taught this like when we were kids, right? So let's take a better look at it. Okay, here's our miniature globe model, and I'm gonna show you how the seasons work. So the, this is our summertime when the, uh, the globe is tilted towards the sun for the summer or solstice. And uh, we're gonna be talking about Michigan, because Michigan's a nice moderate spot to use to show what we're trying to show you. So uh, now the Earth spins for days. That's how you get your day and night. And then at three months later, which, which would be about here, this is the equinox, so it's gonna start getting colder because the angle's changing. And uh, three months later, which would be six months later from the summer, now that Michigan's tipped away from the sun. And that's how you get winter time. That's correct. That's how you get winter and summer. It's the angle, the tilt of the earth. Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Michigan. And if it's possible, the angle of the earth is gonna make that type of difference in temperature uh, from the winter to summer. Okay, so here's Michigan right here. Now you can see it's tilted this is uh, summer solstice is tilted towards the sun and Michigan hangs over the equator like let's say a thousand miles roughly now in the winter time we're gonna flip it around the other way okay now Michigan is gonna be right here basically it's gonna be let's say three thousand three thousand miles in so there's a difference of like 4,000 miles between winter and summer as far as the distance to the sun goes. Now let's look at the distance to the sun. The sun is 93 million miles away and at a 4,000 mile difference, take 4,000 divided by 93 million and you get 0. 0.00004, which is really heat wise, I imagine it would be negligible. And he have changed his mind, because in his latest video he was measuring distances with a stick and claimed that this proved that the globe model didn't work regarding seasons. Okay, let's tilt the globe away from the, the sun. Now, one of the ways we can get an idea is, is let's say we'll take the, the coldest day in the winter time at noon, and then uh, we're going to compare it to move this back to summertime we're going to compare it to morning here's Michigan we're going to compare that to morning in the summertime and see what the temperature difference is to see if our angle makes a difference or not here's our uh, sun winter sun shining on the globe in the wintertime model versus summertime okay so here is I'm going to use a stick right here I don't know if you can see it like there's a middle of Michigan. We're doing Michigan because it's out of 40s. It's at like the 44th parallel. 
So here's our, uh, our stick, measuring stick. And let's see what the temperature is. Press X touch the uh, 75 degrees at 522. And obviously this fool don't see any problems at all with that measurement. 91. 90. Okay, so uh, let's wait 10 minutes. Okay, we're back. It's probably about five minutes went by. Um, I don't know if I gotta use a measuring stick every time, as you guys can see, but I guess you guys are gonna have to trust me a little bit here. Okay, so I'm doing David Weiss's theory. This is winter time. See the angle? This is winter time. Angle in away. 23.4 degrees. Okay, 75 degrees still. Five minutes later. There's Michigan. Right there. Now it looks like the temperature's still going up, so let's see what. It, let's wait another five minutes. Okay, it's a few minutes later. 75 degrees. Four minutes later. Okay, let's test uh, Michigan here. Yeah, 92. Almost 93. So it looks like it, it stopped at 93. 92 and a half. I don't know how well you can see this, but I made a little protractor. So far, I only have found one change from the last video I debunked. This is the same video, but he added the part about the distance. Try to see it better. I made a little protractor to line it up with a string to the center of the heat lamp. So when we do what summertime, we're gonna try to do the same thing. Oh, doesn't come out that good on it. There you go. See? Okay, let's switch it around to summertime. Get up. Now I gotta face it towards the globe, <laughs> towards the sun. And uh, let's check our temperature. Can you get it set up? Okay, summertime. Let's check our angle here. So, you get the idea. I did it better in real versus on the camera. And then, the length, right here to here, it's basically the same. Okay, it's a half hour later. Uh, the temperature went up, went up 0.2 degrees in the room. I don't think that's a big deal. So let's see where we're at right now. Oh, right there. Okay, three degrees. Let's come back a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so here we are 20 minutes later. It's uh, still 75.2 degrees. And uh, I was here 10 minutes earlier. It was 88 degrees. So let's see where it is now. 87. So it looks like it's maxed out now. 87, 88 degrees. Actually, I thought the numbers were going to be pretty close to identical. And uh, in the real world, not the flat world, the sun rays spreads out over bigger areas. So the energy from the sunbeams spreads out over a bigger area. Therefore, you have winter time. He have understood the tilt, the angles but have not reflected over the effect of the tilt and the angles. So far, I only have found one change from the last video I debunked. This is the same video, but he added the part about the distance. In the real world, not the flat world, the sun rays spreads out over bigger areas. So the energy from the sunbeams spreads out over a bigger area. Therefore, you have winter time. He have understood the tilt, the angles, but have not reflected over the effect of the tilt and the angles. How can it be that I, in the morning in the summertime, it's actually cooler than in the wintertime at noon. It doesn't make any sense, right? Okay, just for fun, let's take a look at the hottest day of the year. Okay, now we gotta tip forward. And um, we're gonna use our measuring stick again. Let's see. So you can see, Michigan, it's pretty close. Yep, it's like really close, really close. Okay, let's look at uh, 74 and a half degrees this time. So it's a half degree lower than last time, which isn't much. Let's get our initial reading here. Okay, we're on Michigan, it's uh, 88 degrees. Let's come back in a few minutes. Okay, 74.6 degrees, three minutes later. Let's take a look. 90, 
92 degrees, 91 degrees. Okay, let's see if it still goes up. Okay, so another minute later, let's take a look. There she is, right there. 92, 91. Let's see if we're bottomed out. Come back in two more minutes. Okay, another minute later. And uh, let's see if the temperature topped out. 92 was last time, I think. And Michigan, 93. Oh my god, it's almost 92, 93. 92 and a half. So it looks like it topped out. <laughs> Basically, 91 and a half. I had 92 a second ago. It's basically, uh, <laughs> it's basically the same as uh, wintertime, uh, which doesn't make no sense, which explains the angle doesn't make a difference. The distance makes a difference. So now the distance make difference. Let's listen to a part from the beginning of the video, the part that he have changed for this second release of this rubbish. Now let's look at the distance to the sun. The sun is 93 million miles away, and at a 4,000 mile difference, take 4,000 divided by 93 million, and you get 0. 0.00004. Which is really, uh, heat-wise, I imagine it would be neg negligible. Obviously, he don't remember what he said earlier, but in reality, it's the tilt that make the changes in season, in temperatures in seasons. But this is not the first time when a flurf debunks himself. Let me show you what does make sense. This will be interesting. Standard map of the world, patented 1892. Flat Earth map. And he's going to show us something that makes sense and he will use that map. Oh dear. This is how the sun works in the wintertime. This is how the sun works in the summertime. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, in the Northern Hemisphere, here's the, the sun goes around the, in the inner ring in the summertime, and then it goes on the outer ring in the wintertime. There are several problems with that claim. First, in that case, in the winter time here in the northern hemisphere, the sun must move faster. And it must be much smaller than in the summertime here in this northern hemisphere. And that's how the sun works on a flat and stationary earth. Look at how many hours per day you have sunlight in southern parts of South America, South Africa and Tasmania in the beginning of December and then you look at for instance the northern parts of Scandinavia and then you explain what you see in reality. Your silly model of the sun on your pizza world don't work in reality. Okay so here is Michigan right there. Here's the sun. In the summertime the sun is close to Michigan. It's making a tight circle. In the winter time, it's making a farther circle from Michigan. And in that case, it has to be smaller and move faster in the winter time. Is it what you see in reality? Of course not. The sun is farther from Michigan, so it's colder. Uh, pretty simple. And it's not what you see in reality. They say that a planet hit the Earth and caused it to go on its tilt. Now, if you were going to fake the globe, why would you make the tilt 23.4 degrees? That's because from the equinox to the, to the summer solstice and the equinox from the winter solstice is 23.4 degrees. Oh dear, how can anybody be so stupid? Why do you think it's 23.4 degrees? Oh dear. This must be some kind of record in stupidity. Who is surprised? He is a typical flat earther. And if you look at the, his comment section, people think he did a great work with this one. Oh. 
Thank you everybody supporting Ukraine by watching my videos, becoming members, uh, donating using PayPal and so on. All incomes from this channel goes to buying drones and are sent to Ukraine. Thank you very much. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, become a member or just come back next time I'm showing a video. See you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.